This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. On the VH1 reality show, What Chili Wants, Tiana T. Smalls works feverishly to hook up the love life of Rosanda Chili Thomas, former member of the R&B girl group TLC. Take a look. Hello. Chili. This is my good, good, good friend, Raphael. Hey. Hello. Hi. I don't know what Tiana was thinking. Nice to meet you. Indy, race car, driver fast. You sweating? No, no, no. I'm sorry to interrupt your date here, man. Oh, you're really They're sorry. not having a date. They're friends. <laughs> They're not having a date. Oh, you just busted oh, right in. What are you doing? Now, Tiana T has taken her no-nonsense approach, attitude, and advice and put it into a book called, Girl, Get Your Mind Right. I love how you said that. <laughs> she, she was telling Cass, saying just like that. Just saying just like that, yes. she insisted. So yes. it's true, though. It's like, what is wrong with you? Get your mind right. Yes. yes. They, they got to get their mind right. Yeah. It's a must. But that's the hardest thing to get right. Yeah. What are women doing wrong? Well, think? when it comes down to love, women are doing multiple things wrong. The main thing is, as soon as they get a man, they lose their life. They don't go out no more with their girlfriends. They don't get their hair done every Saturday like they used to. Everything is about their man, their man, their man. Well, they better get their hair done every week. If they want to keep that hair, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But they don't. A lot of women just lose themselves as soon as they get a man, and that is just the wrong thing to do. Then that's why are you the terrible. authority? I don't even consider myself the authority. Yeah. Other people may be the authority. Yeah, but you're the one that wrote the book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I wrote the book because I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you <laughs> do. Through is that, is that true experience? Yes, and watching people. You know, I've watched, you know, women since I was a little girl, yeah. how they do things when it comes down to men, so. Were you always good at friends like that, though, Hoda? Yes. You know, we all do. With mm -hmm. women we love, and they're like fabulous girls. And then you but can't figure one out. one after another, you see them go for the same bad guy. Yes. How do you break a pattern? Because that's what women do. They go for right. the bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Forever. Well, I like to say, how many times are you going to walk across the street and get hit by a car before yeah. you need to know? You need to walk, you know, you need to look <laughs> both ways, you know? Yeah. But some people, I like to call them vics. They like to be victims. They just go no. through the same things continuously, continuously, continuously. Do you think they don't learn anything. Yeah. Do you think it's one of those things that you have an epiphany at one point and you say, you know what? Okay, I'm finally done. Yeah. Do you have to make a decision in here? Does something just Well, click? one day you're just going to get dissed and dismissed and you're going to say, you know what? Enough is enough. And uh -huh. every, you're going to get tired of all your friends talking behind your back and your mom's talking behind your back. And you're going to say, let me get my mind right. But the book will help you get your mind right even quicker. You well, know, as I was looking at her book, and there's a lot of good advice in that. I was thinking of this one relationship I was in that was up and down, but broke up mm -hmm. like nine different times. And I remember so clearly one day, God saying to me, if you settle for what you've got, Mm -hmm. You deserve what you get. Yeah. Ooh. Like uh -huh. you use that in your next <laughs> Yes, I, I'll quote you, though. You know, but it's true. <laughs> we moan and groan about it, but yes. we can change things. We, we can. can. We, only we can. Only we can. Your friends could tell you this guy is a loser a hundred times. But until mm -hmm. you realize that he's a loser, you're not going to get your mind right. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, we do have some people who have questions for you since oh, you are great. the authority. I think Sarah's got a moment. Yeah, yeah. Sarah. One of our fans, Janet, asked, so you've been with a guy for a couple years. He comes to you, tells you he's cheated, but it was only once, and he truly regrets it. Should you give him another chance? And if so, how do you think trust can be rebuilt? Yeah, that's a good one. Someone's that's a one-time really, one cheater. A one-time cheater. That she knows of. Yeah, that, that she knows of. Okay. In your book, you say that that's not the way it is, though. Yeah, that's not the way it is. But I also say in my book that mental cheating is worse than physical cheating. It all depends on the person. You could say, I could tell her to leave him, but I don't know their situation. What I think she needs to do is dissect for her the situation, if it's worth it or not. Is he a good guy besides the cheating part? Me, personally, I don't think she should stay with a cheater. Because if he say he did it once, but, but some I don't people have a whoopsie. That. I do think yes, some people, people have a whoopsie. People get one mistake. Oh yeah. Right. But people listen, let me mistake. ask you this: um, if he told her that without even being asked, it sounds right. like right. It it's sounds confessing. like he's confessing. It's a forgivable. And that's a different uh, yeah, thing. It's a, it's a forgivable offense. I'm not right. saying that, but it all depends on: is he a loser besides the fact that he <laughs> yeah. cheated? You know what I mean? It's other Are components. Are you paying for him while he's cheating on you? Right. Is he broke and he's cheating? You know what I'm saying? All right. That's a two time no. That's a two time no. So it all depends on his no. No, no, no. Okay. So, you know, a square plus B square got to equal up to C square. All right. So okay. Another one. Yep. Michelle is asking. She likes this guy, and she's working on her second master's degree. He doesn't have a college degree. I'm a somewhat conservative suburbs girl. He has gold teeth and considers himself street. Do you think it's possible for two people who are complete opposites to be together? I think opposites attract. But the gold teeth, that is like so 1990s. Like, he needs to upgrade his game a little bit. He got a smart to right. He needs a dentist. I, I think if he get a little dental work and he upgrade himself, I think it can work. I 
definitely think opposites attract. Do you think but they stick forever, though, though, to a point? Forever? To a point. It depends. It has to be the same lifestyle, though. Yeah. It don't have to be, okay, you have a degree, I don't have a degree. I don't think that, that works. You know, <laughs> two, two nerds don't have to be together anyway. It's got to be you about, they've got to shared values. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. Lifestyle and values count. Yeah. The degree thing, that's just... That's I just a piece of paper sometimes. Yeah, it's a piece people. of paper. That doesn't make him a better man because he has a degree. Okay. So mm -hmm. Gold Teeth Boy might treat her good. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. We don't know. All right. Well, we wish you were adorable, Tiana. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us. Thank you so much.